What's going on everybody? Got a haul video for you. Got some new items in. Um, videos are going to be a little intermittent. Uh, going to be a little bit uh, hectic. I go back to school in a week. Um, I'm still going to make videos and sales updates, but they might not be as frequent as they've been over the last couple months. Nevertheless, I got uh, some cool items I'd like to share with you guys and hopefully... Uh, you see something interesting that you can find yourself and make some money. First up is a great uh, brand, of course, Tommy Bahama. Can't go wrong there with the Tommy Bahama stuff. XL. 100% uh, silk. It's a nice Hawaiian shirt. Nothing crazy about it. Hard to see, but there is like an inlay of palm trees and a floral design. I paid uh, $3.99 for that. Not a bad price at all. I got another one as well. This one's a medium. Again, silk. It's kind of like a beigey color. I know my light kind of drowns it out, but it's kind of like a beige color. Uh-oh. Might have a problem there. We're going to see about that. Live uh, live defect finding. Um, but yeah, if they were in good condition, easy 25 30 bucks all day long, especially if they're a bigger size, right? If it was a 2XL, they're going to be flying because it's the middle of the summer. People are getting in their last vacations before the weather hits, and we get snow, and we get rain, and we get sadness, right? At least if you're in the Northeast. Um, next up is a brand I haven't picked up too much, but it is a nice outdoor brand, Ex Officio. Um, this was only $2.99. It's kind of like a burgundy maroon purpley button front shirt. Still has a tag on it. Whatever store this is, I wanted $37 bucks for it. I'm going to ask $25 and uh, should sell pretty well. Nice item here, Polo. Paid $3.99 for this. It's just a nice polo by Ralph Lauren long sleeve t shirt. Um, the nice spell out polo. A little black mark there I just found, but that's okay because I have sold polo stuff with holes, rips, stains. If it's rare, if it's unique, if it's different, people are going to buy it. People are going to buy it. They're going to spend their money because they collect this sort of thing. It's like art, but a fabric. Columbia. Large picked this up for $3.99. It's a nice mint green Columbia, and not just any Columbia. It's an Omni shade, of course, but uh, everyone loves it. PFG, if you see this triangle, performance fishing gear, this stuff is selling like hotcakes um, at the right price point because it's, it's fishing related. It's a well-known brand, Columbia. Everyone loves it, and it sells well. I'll probably get 25 bucks for that. All day long. It's a smaller size. It's a large. I believe it was. So, I think I just picked up a 2XL not too long ago. And that should sell really well. I like to pick these up. This is a Ralph Lauren custom fit button front shirt. Paid $4.99 for it. And uh, I'm slowing down buying these. But uh, if it's different. If it's wild like this one is. A nice multicolor um, flannel looking design. Um, I'm going to pick it up. Especially if it's got a pony logo. It's like driving the uh, Ferrari. You want the name brand. You want people to know what you're driving. They want to know what you're wearing. So if you see the Pony logo, it's going to bring a little more money than uh, a non-Polo logo. If it has the Pony, you're in uh, good shape. Next up is a Bogachi Uomo. Uh, large shirt. Um, it's a short sleeve. I just like the color of it. I think it'll sell pretty well. It's a nice uh, summery colors. It's got like purples and reds. Uh, not reds, but oranges and yellows. Um, nothing too crazy about it. I'll probably ask 20, 25 bucks for it. It should sell pretty well. And this is a cool item. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren Sport 2XL Hawaiian shirt. Nice colors. I, uh, I know Polo Sport stuff spell, sells pretty well. Um, these seem to go the, um, uh, the Hawaiian polo sports, I've seen prices like 25 to 40 bucks. This is a 2XL, so it definitely should help the value. Um, no brainer though, Ralph Lauren polo sport. Let's jump into the bag of fun here from Goodwill. I got stuff today. That was from a purchase a couple of days ago. This is a brand I've never picked up. Um, I just had a good feeling about it, so I looked it up in the store. Southern Tide, the Skip Jack Polo. I saw this little fish guy. Maybe if you fish and people know what kind of fish that is. But um, this is just a nice looking polo. And apparently these go for a good amount of money. Um, sell, uh, sold listings 
anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks. I think I can easily get 39.99 for it. Um, it's in really nice condition. What's next? What's next? This is pretty cool. This is a pearl snap shirt, and it's unbuttoned, so it's a mess right now. Here it is, Levi's. But uh, what makes this a uh, good selling item is it's got a capital E. It's a big E. So it's got some age. It's a pretty unique item. Um, people pay up for the big E stuff. It's vintage. It's rare. I paid five bucks for it. It's got the pearl snaps, and uh, I've seen similar ones sell in the $30 to $40 range. So that's where I'm going to sit it. It's a very nice item. If it was a pair of jeans with the big E, those can go for um, some serious coin. If it's a denim jacket, you know, name your price because people love that stuff. Next up is a blazer. I got one blazer um, today. The brand is Joseph and Feiss. Nothing too special about the brand um, at all, but the reason I picked it up is it was brand new with the tags. Um, brand new. Can't beat that. I paid eight bucks for it, which for Goodwill, that's a good price. Um, this isn't a super special brand, but it's a nice wool jacket. I'm probably going to shoot for 75 bucks plus shipping on that. Not a bad pickup there. Next up is a very nice item from Harley Davidson. Love picking up the Harley stuff. This is an XL long sleeve shirt. It's got a nice pattern on the side or the arms there, but the uh, graphic on the back really caught my eye for sure. Um, Tacoma, Washington. Um, it's got like a mountain in the back. I don't know. Is that Mount St. Helen? I got to look up my geography. I don't know if that's in Washington. Maybe there's a volcano in there. It's got a bridge destination, Harley Davidson. I'm not going to take less than $25 for that. Very nice. Next up is a cool polo shirt. I like picking these up. This is a Tommy Hilfiger 2XL. That's wonderful. And what I love about this is the pattern. It has an all over print out of boats. I don't know what kind of boat. Looks like a nice recreational boat. Um, even on the back, it's all over print. I'm not going to take less than $25 for it. It's a little bit faded, but. Uh, Definitely a cool item there. I won't take less than $25 for it. Next up is a pair of cool items I picked up. Perfect timing. If you football fans know, football season's right around the corner. This is a Nike on-field jersey. Brand new with tags. Size XL. And the player is Jason Pierre-Paul. Um... I don't know too much about football. I'm more of a baseball guy myself. I know he's a great lineman. Um, I am from New York originally, so I, if I do root for a football team, it'll be the Giants, but uh, I don't actively watch it. And another one, Victor Cruz. I know he's a wide receiver. Has a good following, large. Maybe he was traded. I don't, I don't know. Is he still on the Giants? I don't know. But again, new with tags. Brand new. Paid eight bucks for each of them. Uh, I checked the sold listings. I probably get thirty-five to forty a piece for them. Can't beat that. One more item, and this is the coolest item I brought home for this haul today. I'm gonna need two hands, so bear with me as I put you down for a second. All right, this thing weighs about fifty-five pounds. This is a beautiful rancher shot suede jacket. Or leather, I'm not 100% sure what it's made out of. Here's a look at the tag, yeah. This is an awesome western fringe jacket. Definitely got some age to it. Made in the USA, size 40. So it's a, it's a relatively small jacket. Just a beautiful brown color. I looked on, and if you don't know this brand, Shot, it's a very expensive brand, very high quality. I think it's out of, yeah, it's out of New York City. Um, I looked up this jacket 
a same one, same style on their websites. Uh, they're asking $595 new retail for it. Craziness, but uh, definitely an awesome item. Definitely a cool uh, pickup for sure. I paid up for it a little bit. Not much, 10 bucks. And I'm not going to take less than 80 or or $100 for it. It's beautiful, it's heavy, and it's uh, made in the USA, right? Who's going to want this? Someone that rocks the Western look, wants an authentic, frilly look to it. That's my haul video, guys. If you like the video, let me know. Give me some love. Like the video. Subscribe for more great content. Uh, I appreciate your time. And uh, comment below what you think. Have a great day. And hope you have some sales of your own. Peace.